Yeah. We have a very special guest, a science person class. Dr. Shu to teach us about heredity. So Dr. Shu, what is exactly well, heredity? According to scientists, we believe that it is the passing of traits to offspring from his or her parents or ancestors. That's very interesting. Well, Ellie, heredity actually is interesting because it connects with genes. Really? Well, what are genes other than blue genes? The well? genes that I'm talking about is a molecular unit of heredity of a living organism. For example, see that my mother has blue eyes and my father has brown eyes. What colored eyes would I have? It would most likely be brown, but I could have blue eyes. Wow, what is DNA? Well, DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is the heredity material in humans and almost other organisms. Nearly every cell in a person's body is made out of DNA. DNA. Most DNA is located in the cell nucleus, where it's called nuclear DNA. What information does the letter symbols give you? Well, actually, DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. <laughs> what do they look like? DNA looks like a letter that had just been twisted, and it also has to be seen under a microscope. Cool. Let's move on to chromosomes. I'm sure you can get this in a heartbeat. You bet. Chromosomes is a structure in all living thing cells that consists a single molecule of DNA to bonded to various proteins that carries the genes to determine heredity. Hmm. I also have another <laughs> question. <laughs> and I have an answer. What are recessive and adamant traits? What do they do? Recessive gene is a gene that produces it as characteristics phonotype in an organism. And a dominant gene produces the same phonotype in the organism. So say that my father has dimples and my mother does not. Pro that probably means that my father has two big R's and my mother had, would have a big R and a little R or two little R's. Thank you for all your time, Samira. Yep. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Bye. Bye.